Investigations by the new school revealed that the decision by the lawyers not to appear in court for kidnapping and armed robbery suspects was informed by the increase in the kidnapping of lawyers and others in the profession by unknown gunmen. Throwing more light on the stand of the lawyers, Chairman Edo State Branch of the Nigerian Bar Association, Barrister Oname Akere said the decision which was taken at a meeting of the association was to protest against the inhuman treatment lawyers and judges have experienced in the hands of kidnappers in the state. The NBA chairman who added that their colleagues in Delta State have also taken similar decisions emphasized that the measure is to ensure that the trend is reduced to its barest minimum in the state. You find out that these offenses are so rampant now and uh, the way and manner they go about it is uh, very, very, very terrible. You see, the truth about it is um, only recently lawyers, more recently a judge was kidnapped and they cut off his, they chopped off his uh, finger. However, the decision of the NBA has attracted divergent views from members of the public as some respondents threw their weight behind the NBA's decision because the kidnapped suspects cannot eat their cake and have it. It's right because if they de defend them today, they will still come out tomorrow to do the same thing. They shouldn't stand for them to discourage the answer. Maybe they now realize that instead of them lying against God's will, they don't want to be involved in the sin that those people are carrying. That is why they are now withdrawing. Others, however, stress that the decision of the lawyers is against the ethics of their profession. But I think that should be against their own ethic. You understand? Because they are bound by law to give uh, legal backing to whoever approaches them. It was discovered by the new school that the issue of boycott by the lawyers to appear for kidnapping and armed robbery suspect has been on for months, leading to the increase of inmates in prison custody. A Fosa Wangwe reporting.